um, this female leopard Karula has posed perfectly for us. Look at that silhouette. It doesn't get better than this, I don't think, for a leopard silhouette. Legs dangling over the branch, that sun setting in the background. Very beautiful scene. We just repositioned, we came on to the other side of the tree for something different. An artistic view of a leopard, I think. This is very beautiful. I'm so glad Taylor got to show you some elephant. I'm actually jealous that Taylor got to see some some elephant. You all know how much I love viewing the viewing elephant. Wow, look at the sun coming through on the paws and the tail. I know a lot of my guests uh, my, the guests that are very keen photographers would be, I think, uh, snapping away tremendously if they did get the, uh, this sighting. This is a lovely, lovely view. It's something different. You've got backlit leopard with the sunset, beautiful silhouette. It's uh, it really is stunning. It's a special sighting. How would you how would you caption the sighting? I'm curious. Why don't you send in uh, send us a, a a comment, one word, how you would describe the sighting? I'd love to see the different different comments. It's always interesting. Hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or email us questions at wildearth.tv. And don't forget, everyone, our live television show, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Nat Geo Wild. You can watch a TV show with us, which is great, something different. And there are not many live television shows like this with guiding. Or, um, you know, most of them have all been pre-recorded. Everything we see is live, so... That makes it so much more exciting, and we also can't make too many mistakes out here. If we make a mistake, um, we know about it very quickly afterwards. That's what makes this show so wonderful. Now, the young female has just come and joined. Let's see how... Hi, she climbs. She's walking along the branch. Have a look. Oh, I think we might get a wonderful jump from her. Craig, there we go. And David, you say this is breathtaking. It is indeed. And see, I mentioned this earlier. I was hoping that one of the cubs, or at least one of the cubs, would come and join her. Come investigate what the what their mother is up to. Oh, look at that! <laughs> this really is incredible. You can't you can't explain it. I mean. Uh, no, Im impressive. You say that this is timeless. It is indeed. Now, Diane, you say it's dreamy. That's an interesting, interesting word. And I think you're you're right. It is dreamy. It's. Uh, it's 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 just spectacular it really is spectacular and again you know I always always speak about it how fortunate we are to view leopards like this because 
in my my experience in going to the bush and going to different parts of Africa, they are one of the most elusive cats. And if they don't want to be seen, they, they won't. So it just shows you how well the guides and the people in these areas work and respect the animals. You know, it's all about mutual respect, not chasing them with the vehicles, not putting too much pressure on them so that they eventually become relaxed and allow us to view them like this. If the female uh, Karula and her cubs, if they weren't relaxed, we wouldn't see them and they definitely wouldn't be up in a tree like this. We need to bear that in mind. It comes from patience, time, tracking, following the animals, finding them. Now, from patience with sitting with leopards to somebody else who isn't really that patient, well not with me 